Hey, everybody. I'm Adam, co-founder of Brain Trust, with my trusty co-founder, Gabe. Hello, everyone. We're recording this video to announce some really big news um, that happened you know, rather, rather quickly here over the last uh, month or so. Um, today, we are um, announcing that uh, Brain Trust has uh, sold $100 million worth of tokens to a group of firms led by KOTU Management with participation from Tiger Global, True Ventures, Hashkey, Blockchain, and some of our other early backers in order to create a protocol development fund for Brain Trust. We'll get into what that means here in a second, but I want to sort of review in case you're new to the network, like what, you know, what caught their attention and these firms approached us. We weren't, we weren't looking to do this just yet. We, we knew some, we knew we'd want a big protocol development initiative at some point, but this happened really quickly after our mainnet launch. Um, so brain trust is the fastest growing web three network. Um, we came out of stealth in June of 2020 and in the, just in the last 18 months, GSV that's gross service volume. That's just dollars flowing through the network. When a client hires talent, grew 2,250% from 1.2 million to 28.2 million. The number of enterprise clients jumped 752% from 63 to 474. Job seekers, what we call talent, flocked to the platform, growing uh, from 2,194 to over 36,000 today. Uh, and then the community, the best part, of course, grew 70x, uh, 10,000 folks to over 700,000 people. So what does this mean for the community and for the network? Uh, number one, this in infusion of funds will be used to further develop the protocol and fuel rapid community-led innovation. What that means is that your ideas, your concepts, your proposals are going to be funded using these funds to further develop the network. Second is there's going to be many other paid opportunities in addition to, to our grants program for people to get involved and contribute and help to build the future of this network um, that will both be in our grants program and outside of the grants program, which we'll be announcing here soon. Uh, and the third and, and, and one of the most interesting things for us is, is that the, the ownership economy is alive and growing and thriving. And when we started this in 2018, this was just an idea. And it's it's incredible to see the progress that we've made so far and to see that this is, is now like crypto going mainstream and touching a lot of other use cases outside of DeFi and, and trading. So it's really, really exciting to see all that we've done so far as an organization and, and, and what uh, the future holds for us. Okay, next. So, you know, why these firms? Why, why Co2? Why Tiger Global? Um, so they're, they're two of the largest firms. They're, they have Silicon Valley presence, but they're in New York and, and many other places around the world. Um, they have experience traditionally backing late stage public companies, many of them Web2. Um, and so them, those firms, you know, backing the brain trust network is a significant validator for web three user own networks everything brain trust is pioneering here um so i'll give you a little more background on both these firms so co2 manages 48 billion dollars with notable investments in companies like spotify instacart doordash chime and many others big web two companies there um tiger manages about 80 billion and it has investments in coinbase stripe quora gitlab flipkart and so um, for those firms to buy a token is, is actually really interesting, really innovative on their part. It was actually the first tar, uh, token that, that Tiger has bought and the second for Co2. Um, and so it's, it's, this is more than just money. Like we, as a project, like weren't, into, weren't interested in fundraising, like we don't, we don't really need more capital. Um, what they're doing is, is actually leaning in, bringing their deep industry knowledge and expertise, connections, and helping actually build out the protocol with us. Um, if, you know, for instance, I'll, I'll give you one example. Um, KOTU, you know, they have deep expertise in recruiting and talent, and they've you know, acquired a lot of talent agencies and, and recruiters. And they're actually leaning in and helping us build new products and features on the platform, as well as onboarding as a client. Um, and so, you know, it's, it's really cool. It's not just like writing a check and moving on. It's like these folks, the partners, the, the investors, the back office folks are like rolling up their sleeves and actively helping build out this protocol. It's cool because these firms were so um, consequential in building some of the web two giants that we've seen. And now they're pivoting 
hard into Web3 and, and Brain Trust is, you know, among their, if not their first move in there. Um, let's talk briefly about what this means for governance of the Brain Trust network. So Brain Trust obviously remains a user-owned decentralized talent marketplace. Um, same as nothing changes there. The smart contract is still what it is. Uh, B Trust holders um, own the value of their work, can propose on uh, and vote on key changes to the network. Um, the purchasers in this $100 million round are also token holders, um, but their tokens, roughly 7% of total supply, are on a three-year lockup with gradual kind of annual unlocks uh, starting uh, in November um, of, to of 2021. And then 100% of this- funding, um, Yeah, so sorry, the vesting starts in November of 2021 and the unlocks begin November 22, 23, 24. Yeah, thanks for helping me clarify that. Um, but most importantly here, guys, like 100% of this funding goes to grant programs, bounties, development of the network by existing core teams, new core teams that are joining, and lots and lots of people in the network and, and folks that, you know, have yet to join the network. So, um, you know, it's really like, just like such an accelerant to, you know, protocol development and growth. That's, that's like the whole reason to do this. Well, it's time to build. I want to talk about a couple of the things that are exciting uh, leading up here in this next quarter and, and also uh, some of the things that are coming up for this network in this next year. Um, so in Q4, we're going to be uh, rolling out the first version of our grants program. Um, and there's going to be three broad categories of grants. Uh, the first would be called ambassador grants, um, people that can be educators and communicators about both Web3 and also decentralized talent networks globally. Obviously, we are a global talent network. And so there will be ambassador grants to both train, onboard, and educate uh, ambassadors uh, across all of the countries that we serve. Uh, the second is what we call builder grants. Uh, these are great projects for product engineering design folks that want to lean in and, and contribute code or designs or, or, or feature sets to the network. Um, and then the third is what we call educator grants. So the community is constantly educating themselves about how to be you know, better independent workers, how to get hired, how to increase their rates, how to run their own businesses really effectively. And so we're going to be having a, a set of educator grants for people to become educators in the community and help other community members succeed, uh, both on the Brain Trust Network, but also you know, as independent knowledge workers. We believe that that's incredibly important and is something that uh, the network should invest in here in the community. So those are the three broad broad categories of grants, um, a bunch of really interesting things happening there. If you're interested in finding out more, the first is you can sign up to be notified about our grants program. Uh, the first uh, grants will be going live in early 2022. Uh, the second thing is you can join our Discord. Lots of ways for you to get involved, learn about the project, participate in bounties, meet other great, you know, uh, blockchain developers and, and, you know, product managers, designers, other knowledge workers that are out there building their own businesses, creating their own futures. Um, and then also we're going to be hosting a, a brain trust live, which is basically a gathering of our community on 12, uh, 16, December tw uh, 16th. Um, and, uh, and you'll hear directly both from us, you know, as early founders, but also from the multiple contributing teams that have helped to both build brain trust into what it is today and that are also helping to build you know the next iterations to uh to continue to grow tomorrow so those are great ways for you to both learn about the project and also to get involved and i would say it is an incredible time for this protocol where where we've you know reached this level of scale but it feels like we're just getting started and there's so much more to do we welcome builders and contributors to come and help us build the future of work.